joke around with the nurse while you wait because it's no big deal, right? You know, it's routine. But then the doctor comes in and uh, you notice that he uh, he's having a hard time looking at you. could be worse. Someone actually said that to me last week. Can you, can you believe that? I was like, fuck you, man. Because if there is something worse, I mean, what's, what's worse than certain death? Just tell us why you're here. Because my therapist says I should be. Teresa? Look, I'm supposed to be in college. Hanging out with my friends, talking about boys, painting my nails. Not here. When I found out, I was this close to letting go. And if you would have told me three years later, I'd still be here in group. Well, I'd have thought you were crazy. But still here. And so are you. Everyone, this is Sam. Why don't you start by telling us a little bit about yourself? Whatever you feel comfortable sharing. Sam? Bailing out already, are you? Listen to all the shitty coffee and donuts. I'll manage. Fair enough. I'm rich. Sam. Mind if I? First meeting is usually a little long. I don't know. About a month. The dog treating you good? Yeah, I guess. What kind of meds are you on? Uh, I don't know. I, I forget. You forget? I haven't started taking them yet. So you're undetectable? viral one? Yeah. Right. What's it like? You know, the, the whole thing. The truth? Most of the time I forget I even have it. I mean, take a couple pills a day and that's pretty much it. It can sound like it's the common cold. Considering people used to die from this shit, I think we're doing just fine. I guess. That was quite a story you told me then. Is it true? No, this isn't just some tattoo you got lately. I know that. Oh, Rich.
do it. Anyone hear about the woman in the States who is completely healthy but identified as disabled? She felt so strongly about it, absolutely convinced that she was meant to be disabled. She just couldn't let it go. Anyway, so one day she decides to do something about it. She goes to the store, buys a jug of bleach, brings it back home, pours it directly into her eyes, blinding herself. Permanently. Apparently she screamed so loud from the pain that someone in her building called 911. Afterwards, when they interviewed the first responders, the paramedics said that the woman refused any treatment whatsoever. In fact, they said that she was crying tears of joy 